if you guys witnessed the story uh, that Jackie Matubia and Dr. Fweneke were doing, her story, you will realize or you will get to know the reason why we started the Identity Fridays. Now, I've constantly told you that women are emotional creatures and they can easily destroy their children when there is a weak father or there is the absence of the father. That's a reality that most of you don't want to hear. The truth is this, that any time a relationship is new, the man gives so much attention to the woman. When he comes back home from work, he brings flowers, brings chocolate, maybe a pair of shoes, some clothes, dinner dates, oh, and all that. And all these things are good for the women because they excite them. However, when a child comes in, the firstborn child, most of the times this man comes from work and the first question is, how is the child? How is my, my child? And the woman starts to think that this attention is being uh, transferred from her to the child. And automatically, if the man does not know how to handle this, the woman will start feeling bad about it. They will definitely start turning the children against their fathers. And it's an innocent move. And they are doing that so that they can actually get back the attention that is coming from their fathers. Okay? From their boyfriends or their husbands. So they get to realize that when they are doing their thinking, when they are doing this, uh, the husband will notice and then the attention will come back. But that's a problem because immediately these things start to happen. And I'll give you a good example. Sometimes, ladies, you know very well when you're raising a child, you pull an emotional trick. You tell the child that, you know what, your father is always absent. I'm the one who is taking care of you. You see, I'm the one who is paying school fees. And this goes to those men who actually send money to the woman so that the woman can actually, or the wife, so that the wife can actually pay the school fees for the children. So when you do that, what this child knows is that the mother is the one who is providing because that is the information that is being fed to the child. Okay? If that is the, if there is no order in that family. And when that happens, is this is a way of them trying to impose their identities in these children. They try to model them in their own image. And when they do that, they make sure that they suppress the identity of this child. And the identity that is coming in now is the mother's identities. So most of the sons, most of the daughters have been remolded into the identities of their mothers. And they don't like that. Once you've been given a false identity from your mother, you don't like it. So you end up... Uh, presenting your mother for that false identity, but you don't even know it because you're in the fallen state. Now, all your life, you will struggle with that false identity until you get your identity back. And that's the reason why we tell you to face your mothers and overcome them by actually apologizing for resenting them for no good reason because it is not right for you to resent human beings. Therefore, you realize you've resented your mother for imposing her false identity in you. So you decide that you need that identity back. And for you to get that identity back, you have to forgive her so that you overcome her. And then you go and forgive your father because your father became weak and that's the reason why he allowed your mother to actually convert you into her own image and actually suppress your own identity. So when you forgive your father, you actually reconnect back with his spirit and the soul. It doesn't matter if he's a drunkard or whatever character he, uh, uh, he has. It will not come to you. You reconnecting with the soul of your biological father takes you back to the root of God. Okay, and now you have your own identity. And believe me, whatever you've heard that, you know, God speaks to people. God does not speak to people. What God does is he reveals things to people through their own identities. And until you get that identity from your mother and your father, it shall be difficult for you to actually see the revelations of life. Okay, so you must uh, learn the spirit and the art of forgiveness. And realize this, when you go back to forgive your parents, you're not doing that because you hate them. No, it's just resentment that hails from them imposing their false identities in you. Also, do not expect anything from your parents just because you've forgiven them or just because you've told them that they should forgive you. Do not expect them to be good or accept you back now. You're doing that because you just want the, your identity back from them. You don't want validation. You don't want acceptance. You don't even want them to forgive you because they don't have the ability to forgive you. God is the one who forgives. So once you show God that actually you need this identity, he gets that burden out of you that anger, that emotion, uh, that trouble, that doubt, that fear, that concern, that need to find love and to find a perfect person. He gets that out of you and then refills you with your own identity. And through that identity, you can actually attract people who have the same identities. And that's how your life, your life starts to open up. But until then, you will continue suffering, doing things over and over. You think you've, you've now managed your anger and a little trigger your back to anger again. 
So until you get your own identity, you'll never see things in the right direction. So I hope that this can actually impact you positively and you can actually go and find your identity from your parents. Try it and see how it goes.